Okay, good morning. All right, so we're up to letter Nun. We're going through Mishnah Seferim, working through the letters. In the chart here, we're up to the second line. So the letter Nun. It says the Mishnah Bura, Ois Nun Kufufa. Of course, there are two Nuns, the regular Nun and then the final Nun. So Ois Nun Kufufa, he calls it, which is the regular Nun. Yase Reisha Kumoresh Hazayin. If you look at the letter Nun, you see the top of the Nun is made up of two parts, the top part and then the bottom part. The top part is like the top of a Zion. It's a square block and it's got three tagin. So a Shlesha tagin or has got three tagin on top of it. But it shouldn't be wider than the, the, the top of a Zion. Because if you go too wide with the top of your Nun, it will look like a base. Just in picture, if you just extend the top of the nun, it will look like a base. Im ye rochov mat yos rochorochov mat yos if it's too wide. When we tam zeh yase gamkein moishava lamata moishach letzad small. The bot the base of it should be sort of uh, slanted a little bit towards the left. Heitev, it should be um, slanted towards the left. Yosem in a rush um, towards the towards the head. Yeah, which is how we do it, right? So the letter Nun, from the top, from the top, which is the Zion-like, it goes out and it's on an angle. It goes out towards the base. Um, <coughs> uh, it should be a little bit thick. So the line that comes down to the base should be a little bit thick, not too thin a line, and it should be towards the right-hand side. So that it can be, it can connect the top and the bottom. The nun should be rounded on the the bottom right side. You can see from the picture, it's uh, rounded there at the bottom right hand side. Now, if you made the nun instead of like a zayin, but you made it straight vertical. Then you've got a bit of a problem. You you do it, do it vertically, straight up. The, the, the primogodim leaves it as a tzarchiyon. And the rekiv eger brings it in his chedusha. Menachem stovet b'simin chaf gimel. Mashma de kosher b'diavet. He says b'diavet is kosher v'chei mashma ni zdaiti lecher me alavush. That seems to be the implication from the lavush as well. Shechazer b'soif tumnas ha'osis shelo hadvarim shem likuva. Because at the end the lavush writes all of those letters which have done in certain ways. The ma'akev. It's even b'diavet. It's possible. B'cholos on every letter. V'azed dileg. In this particular problem, he he leaves out. So again, what's the issue? The prima gardim is talking about where not the nun has got to be slanted down if you made it straight vertical then we have that that issue okay but i'll call upon him near a poshut the afla das ha prima gardim mahani tikkun it is possible to fix it up a little bit how so uh, you scrape away a bit of the top on the left hand side, not too much, so that you've still got the tsura of a nun. And afterwards, you add a bit more ink to the top right hand side, so that it looks like a zayin. You can't just add. To the right hand side on the top, because then you're going to get the head of it, it's going to look wider than the top of a Zion. Yeah, so it's talking about this. This is this picture over here, Ellie. If you're on page 303, picture number eight. So you've got you've done it, you've got a problem, you've done it a vertical nun. You scrape away and you so you've done the top too wide. So what do you do? You've done the top too wide, you scrape away a bit of the top left, you then add some ink, and then you make it like that, and you add a little bit on the right hand side. So that way you can make it more like a nun. But you can't just add too much on the right hand side because otherwise uh, it will look like a different letter. So you, that, that's how you that's how you masak in it. Okay, good. Peseda. So that is a regular nun. Now we're going to the nun pshuta. The nun pshuta means the end of nun, the final nun. So 
nun, Toya Tsurasa Kamoi Zion, the shape of a final nun is like a Zion, with Shlesha Tagin Al Rosha, with three crowns, three vertical lines coming on the top of his head. How long should the final nun be? It should be long enough that if you take the bottom of the letter and you twist it around leftwards, then it becomes like a regular nun. So how long is that? Four measures of the coolness, which is the width of the of the quill, in gago with the roof. But if you do too short, you show it to a kid who's not too who's of average intelligence. If he says, hey, this is a Zion, and he doesn't say this is a nun, then it's possible. And if you do it too long and it looks like a vov, he leaves it uh, difficult, as schwer. Ach shari achreinim, the shari frayim, etc. Skimu bezel liftsol. Okay, good. So just to explain. So you've got how long has the nun got to be? He said four kumesim. So on this book, he's got the grids. Each little square is like a is like a, a measure of the kumas. You do it four measures, including the top, enough that you could twist it round and it become like a regular nun. That little bit at the bottom. Okay, good. So that is the final. That is the final nun. Samach. Uh, now we're moving on to the next letter. A samach. A samach says the Mishnah Bura. Tia gaga lemala aruka. The top of it is should be long. Tahainu should say gaga shove lechatchila. That the top of a samach. So imagine this. Here's your samach. The next letter. That the samach it should be shove. It should be straight at the top. And the top right hand side should be curved, should be ogle, and the top left should be square. So that's what he means. Tiagaga lamala aruka. The hainu should take gaga shove, it should be straight, the top line. The chatrilo lamata me shove kotsa. And the base of it should be narrower. Ki srikhilis agula me gimel. I think you've got to turn over two pages. The top of page samachthala in my one. The top of it should be agula mit me. It's got to be rounded on three corners. Yeah, you look at the summer. The, all th- on that top left hand, top right hand corner, it's rounded. The bottom right, it's rounded, and the bottom left, it's rounded. The only non-rounded one is the top left hand side. Okay. The uh, yistem gamre. You got to make sure that the summer is fully closed. Uh, the and the top left of the samach should lean over a little bit, like the yeah, just leaning over the top over there. So you can see in the picture, it's quite clear that it leans over on the top, like the gag of a vov, uh, leaning over. Okay, good. That is uh, that's the samach. Now let's go to the ayin. Ois ayin ye ois rishon kein yud. So the, his talk is describing this bit over here. The iron, the top right hand side should look like a yud. Okay? Kein yud, or poneho ktsas klape malo, but it's not actually straight. It's, it's facing up a little bit. Yeah, the iron is, is tilted, facing up. The guf is the is is drawn out a little bit, uh, a little bit vertical. Because if you do it too much, so for example, he says he's got a picture over here. If you the base of the iron, it should come out a little bit, but not too much. Because if it comes out too much, Ellie, this is page 306, not page uh, picture number 13. Because if it comes out too much, then it's going to bang into the next letter. So it's just got to protrude a little bit. Uh, um, because if it would come out too much, you can't have to do it in the same way. And that's... Uh, that's uh, and therefore the Zion, which is the main bit of it, the, 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 the Zion means this bit, yeah, the, the, the left-hand side of the iron, then that can be straight. Um, the uh, and it should be halfway across the base of the iron. And on the top of the zion, you put on the left hand side of the iron, on the zion part of the iron, you put Then take a look there regarding the touching of the, those heads 
uh, more than uh, more than necessary with the dibukim. He's got pictures of that in uh, number 16 nearly. If you've, you've made it too thick. Okay. You've got to be very careful. That the heads of the iron shouldn't touch. Yeah. So for example this. Yeah. You've got the iron over there. You make sure that the, the top right and left sides they don't touch each other. The heads of the iron don't touch each other. That's picture 17 nearly. That, that's, you've got to be careful with that. If they do touch, Mahani um, Greira, if I in the come, but if I Oishin, Mashikusav Nisham. You got to check out over there if you can scrape away or not. Okay, At Kani Ayin. Okay, we're moving quickly. Ois Pei. So this is the next letter. Ois Pei. Says the Mishnah Bura. Tzarech Lihi Ois La Lechatchila Lemala Betzadjimin Zovis Mibifnim. There should be a zovis a corner mebefnim for gam mebechutz yeh kazovis katan. So there should be lechatchila on the top on the right hand side a zovis which means a square. Uh, it should be sharp and the zovis katan and on on the outside it should be a zovis katan like a small zovis. Um, yeah. So if you can see in the picture book, he's talking about the inside over here, the aleph. Can you see that little point over there? It's the top of the vacuum. That is lemala besadjimin zovis mibifnim, and on mibachutz means the top right-hand sides of the letter P. I hope we're going to have a new appreciation for Seferim after this. Yeah, what they need to know and how accurate in every single letter. So it's quite remarkable. So sorry, clear as law. Lechatchila lemala besadjimin zovis mibifnim. The gam bechutz ye zovis kazovis katan. For tiem meshucha ktsas lachoreha. It should be uh, sort of uh, elongated a little bit or stretched a little bit. That it should be rounded on the outside. And so too, they should be rounded on the bottom right hand side. It should be rounded. But on the inside, it should be straight, it should be square. Can you see this? You've probably never seen this before. But if, can you, if you look at the white of this letter P, can you see that it, the white makes up the letter base? So it should look like a base on the inside of the P. It should be one and a half kulmas measures wide. So the nakuda should be on the inside. That it shouldn't touch the actual ice. Uh, it shouldn't touch the ice. Uh, in other words, the top of the pay. Not like some seifrim do, that they make the okay on the side. To sort of pronounce the base in the inside. Because that's a broken letter. It should be rounded on the outside, like we said. The duck bifnim and very narrow on the inside. Sorry, the rak bifnim tzorichlios base lavon, and just on the inside you should perform uh, this letter. The mashenagu kach, and what a mashenagu kach when they sheinam yodim harhergalasos litfos hakulmas ba'alachsoin. What they don't do is they don't take the kulmas on an angle. La hamshichem maat lachereha to stretch it a little bit behind hakulmas mibifnim from the kulmas mibifnim. Shali dezer nasel lozovis mibifnim because by doing that that makes a square on the inside. Kumvud beis yosef alkein yotzol ematos lasos oker mibachutz. That's why they make this mistake. Lasos and okev mibachutz. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah so you. So yeah, you can see that uh, Eli, it's a picture number six where you can see them uh, where they, they pronounce the base in that way. Okay, Gamba Mashinagu, I'm halfway through this this paragraph. Gamba Mashinagu Lichtov Mashucha Misov Gago. Also what the minig is to write it stretched misov gago ma'at to 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 stretch a little bit. This is uh, picture number six, Eli. Yeah, they they stretch a little bit. Um uh, the Nukuda they make it square and not rounded. They ruin the Vov totally. Anyone who doesn't know to make the writing perfect, better, 
better to make the base on the inside below our cave without a heel for rak bezovis levad than just to make it square. The mashiyasa pay shovim bachutz than to make it uh, broken on the outside. Ki afilu betumunas ha base gufa ha ok v'lo liyikuvu who could klal because even even uh, the, with the base. Uh, with, uh, it's not. It's not ma'akev. The kol shkain b'zeh shelo nizka akev klal b'baruch shama, and it's not even mentioned in the baruch shama. B'vada ne nochun ulasus al dezeh ha pei shava. So therefore, you shouldn't definitely, you should, certainly shouldn't make them pay shava at kanago. V'yelech ukets al poneha letzad small. So there should be an ukets. Um, so this is picture eight, Eli. That means on the top left of the pay, there should be a little ukets coming out of the top left hand side of the pay. Um, the Yoreid Lamata and our Nakuda Shabbat It goes down into the Nakuda in, in, in the middle of the letter. But Tiana Kuda Tsluyabo, and that should be suspended. Sorry, Tiana Kuda Meshach Uksa Yeb Tmunas Vov Kashiyap Hapei. And it should give the appearance of a Vov. In other words, that the, that the Pei, imagine this little bit, is like an upside down Vov. Right? Um, when you turn it upside down. Therefore, it should be on the left hand side, rounded, like the top of a vov. I.e., the base shouldn't be like this. It shouldn't be, can you see the little suspended bit? It shouldn't touch the bottom of the letter base. Yeah, you can see that. It shouldn't touch the bottom, the base. The, the base of the B A S E of the of the pay. For those who are not making the film, we are not going to be done as psula. The gami is over the kuda. She not see a fuchel at sad chutz. It shouldn't go be be upside down facing outwards. The lav hachi tzarechi and afilu b'diavet because even b'diavet it might not be good. The the im loy tola and the kuda and beukutz shall pnei a pay. The rechika mikzeh agaglim vifnim yeshli stapik. But you got to you got to be you got to question it. The dinner k'moy behei she tola regal smole beemtsa hagag. It's like the situation where we had the hay where the regal the foot of the hay is in the middle of the letter. The chanal but is hay. And if it doesn't touch the gag, and the kid reads it to pay, it's possible still to fix it. The tikkun moel afilu betfilim mezuzas, and this tikkun will is is also good for tefilim mezuzas. For chanal b'sim and lamabesi v'chafei ayin shom. If it only also on a kudu rak kav shoven, if you only did a straight line, ayin el soif ois alaf. Okay, b'seid mishashem. Two more days of mishnah soifim, and then we're back to normal mishnah. B'seid.